is going to be an exciting and maybe record breaking morning tomorrow. Holly Strano is joining Al Roker and more than 50 forecasters to attempt a Guinness World Record title tomorrow on the Today Show for the longest uninterrupted live TV weather report. Mm, here, we <laughs> <And go. laughs> here we go. So in honor of the first day of summer, she'll be sharing some extra special weather reports from our neck of the woods. Hope you can watch us in action on today and WKYC.com where they'll be live streaming. Yes. All right. Yeah. At least they have a lot. Exciting. They have a lot to talk about. I mean, it's been oh, active yeah. weather-wise. Yeah, it, it could has. be worse. You could pick a day on accident where there's nothing going on. But right. this time we have a decent front. I mean, mm. we had some showers and thunderstorms earlier today for Father's Day, especially close to the lake shore. Uh, we still have a chance for an overnight shower thunderstorm. We're going to talk about who has the best chances here with the radar. I want to show you, take you to the weather maps this evening. But first, that is gorgeous. guys, that is the beautiful. Solstice Steps. Have you been to the Solstice Steps? I no, I have not. They're but beautiful. not for this specific purpose that you're about yes. to explain. Wow. So those steps were designed to face the sunset exactly on the summer solstice. Of course, the sun was being hidden just a little bit by some storm clouds off in the distance, but that was completed in 2015. It's, it's kind of like our own modern version of Stonehenge right here <laughs> along Lake Erie, That's but beautiful. the steps align with the sunset. And there's a bunch of folks there sitting there getting ready for the sunset and then the so clouds cool. start to come in. But it's a beautiful spot. If you haven't had a chance, I highly recommend you guys. Gorgeous. It is beautiful. All right. Well, the waves on Lake Erie may try to get a little bit rougher, though, overnight tonight. You can see in the, the video there, it was pretty calm at the moment, but we got some showers and thunderstorms. In fact, things were rocking pretty decently here just about 30 minutes ago towards the islands. We were getting clipped by some of these strong thunderstorms. At times, we've had severe thunderstorm warnings on these. You can see a lot of different colors with the radar map as well. Those are showing you a, a various mix of severe thunderstorm warnings. Off and on, some of these complexes have had tornado warnings. Remember yesterday, we had our own tornado warning in Geauga County and Trumbull County. Uh, today, we had a severe thunderstorm warning for eastern Cuyahoga County and Geauga County. So we've had our fair share share of some severe weather and we still have a few chances overnight and into tomorrow. Basically the chances stick around until this front clears us. But that's not going to happen until Monday night. So we have at least about 24 hours to go before we're pretty much out of the woods with some of this severe weather. But if we look a little bit closer towards Ohio, I can explain what's going on at this hour. Uh, the main complex, the nastiest weather, continues to stay just towards our north. There's, there's a boundary hugging right over Lake Erie and then southeastern portions of Michigan. And that's where the majority of this action is taking place. And notice the trajectory kind of east and also kind of northeast as well. These storms that are just over Lake Erie will continue to press off towards the east. But I'm telling you, there's a crazy lightning show over Lake Erie right now. If you're able to look north, you can see those, those cells just uninterrupted. There's nothing blocking your view when you're looking north. But we're watching these cells towards the south and west. These are closer towards uh, just way north of Dayton. These are headed towards northeast Ohio. But notice over time, they just don't blow up. These are struggling right now, so we'll be watching these cells, but we could get a couple rumbles of thunder as these cells try to push in towards northeast Ohio. But I think over the next couple of hours, at least as we're sleeping tonight, the worst weather stays north, but we could get a couple of thunderstorms here and there. You can see a better view of some of those storms right now over Lake Erie, just bypassing northeast Ohio. <laughs> That's what we like to see. Right now we're quiet, but watch out for a few of those cells coming in from the west. But things are warm and things are sticky. Things are humid. We're sitting in the 70s. And the 80s right now, we probably have some more upper 70s and 80s tomorrow. Here's your forecast preview for tomorrow brought to you by the National Design Mart. Uh, we have an isolated shower for the morning. Holly Strano is going to be tracking those for you with the Rokerthon and everything like that. But by the evening, when that front actually arrives, we have one more chance for a few more thunderstorms. In fact, the Storm Prediction Center, once again, we have a severe threat over us. However, if you notice, everything's been pushed towards the east. The green color shows you that level one severe risk. So one out of five, the lowest that you can be, but still a chance. That includes Mansfield, north and east towards Elyria, downtown Cleveland, and also for some of us in Lake County, a level two severe risk for much of the snow belt and then southeast towards Akron and Canton. Because I'm going to show you with some of those cells that are going to be popping up tomorrow. But overnight, the majority of the action stays north. We could get a stray shower here and there. This is tomorrow morning at six. Could be a couple of leftover showers here and there. But by the afternoon, we'll watch the atmosphere try to rejuvenate itself, getting a couple of these thunderstorms. Some of these may be severe. The biggest impacts would be some gusty winds and maybe some hail with some of these storms. But then they start to get out of here and then guys were mostly done. And that cold front's going to swing through. It's going to really knock down the humidity. We got a break this upcoming week and the temperatures are going to take a hit too. If you like some of the cooler weather, if you have not liked the humidity heat recently, you got some breaks coming up. It's only going to be 70 degrees on Tuesday. I mean, most of these probably going to be stuck in the 60s. So we have about 24 hours of the warmth, the humidity, the storms, and then guys that front clears 
and then we're talking about much cooler weather going into next week. We eventually do rebound. I mean, technically today's the first day of summer, so it is summer. <laughs> we'll be back to more summer heat later this upcoming week. It'll be refreshing. Oh yeah. It sure will.